Hello and welcome to the first garden video of the first year of the quarantine. Um, it's been kind of cold the last couple days and haven't done much in the garden yet, but I thought it'd be a good time to get kind of a starting point here uh, before I get anything much going on. Um, got a new phone here, so hopefully I can manage to cut a decent video with it. Um, and this plot here, this is where I planted the late stuff last year. And so now there's actually some um, spinach here that survived and some kale and then some carrots that all survived the winter. And so they're gonna go to seed now. The spinach hasn't really started to seed yet, but the kale here is, is going to seed. So I'm just gonna let all those things go to seed and, uh, and save it. Um, they're all biennials where they don't make seed the first year, they make it the second year. And they do it pretty quickly once they, once it warms up. Um, the rest of this is just wasteland for the moment. Um, I kind of had a plan that I was going to cut back on the garden size this year because, um, work changed and I'm not going to have as much time it changed for the better but it's not going to leave me as much time to uh, spend in the garden and so i was thinking of planting one of my um garden beds probably this one to just a cover crop for this year but then uh, corona happened and um i'm gonna be at home more and at least for now and so i said well let's go ahead and get plenty of seeds and and get plenty of stuff planted. Um, so, still plan on doing the full three beds then. Um, asparagus here isn't up yet. Kind of keeping an eye on that every day. And then, strawberries over here. I dug a lot of these out last year, planting the other spot. But, uh, there's still a lot of them here doesn't hardly look like I made it made a dent in them so I'll let them grow and, and pick them this year and then uh, maybe transplant some more out of this spot okay here around the grotto things are starting to take off um, the green onions around the back are growing really well um, the mint is spreading out I originally just planted it over here, but now it's all the way around in front here. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's going to be a good patch of that. Um, the rest of this is mostly just weeds other than a couple of flowers. This flower here. So probably need to get some mulch over here and get down the weeds soon. All right, here on the south side, we got the garlic that I planted last fall. It's uh, looking fine. And then most of the rest of this is the strawberries I transplanted. So they're going to make some strawberries this year. I don't know how many, but then they'll they'll run her out and, and fill out this area, and then it'll really be a, a much better strawberry bed next year, I would imagine. Um there's two and a half, well, two full rows of them, and then the beginning of a row here until I ran out of space because there was still some stuff alive from last year. But eventually I might just turn this whole area into a strawberry patch. Um, and then I've got a uh, cold frame here that doesn't have anything in it yet. Just put this out a couple days ago, so at the moment I'm just kind of letting it warm up the soil. Um, I think this is the first day that it really got a lot of sun on it so let it warm up soil a little bit and then get some early stuff or not well not early stuff but get some stuff um, planted under there that needs more warmth and and can't take a late frost all right over here in the west plot um, it's not much happening yet except weeds getting going We've got three rows of potatoes here on this side that aren't up yet. They're just about a week old, I guess. Um, so 
there'll be a little bit yet. Um, but planted those, I guess, a couple days before Good Friday. I always try to get them in the ground before Good Friday. Um, and then the rest of this, like I said, is just empty. Um, I kind of didn't want to till this year. I wanted to just use mulch methods and um, you know, other no-till methods, but I don't know. This may have to get tilled one more time um, to, to kill all this stuff would take either a lot of plastic or a lot of mulch or a lot of something. Um, I just don't know if there's going to be time to do that. So I may till this spot and uh, let the other, you know, use, use mulch on the other two um, for this year. And then maybe next year can go full mulch across all the spots. But um, that's kind of what I'm thinking for right now. And that just leaves the flower bed here, which looks like a wasteland. Cats dragged some junk out from under the porch, apparently. Um, it's got the marshmallow herb that keeps coming back. It's a perennial, so I'll have to, uh, I don't know, I'd, if I don't want that here, I'm going to have to dig it up, which is a lot of digging because it's, it's got a big root ball on it. Um, or I guess put a solid mulch over it, like a piece of metal or something until it kills off. But, um, I'll probably just keep it cut back for this year. Just keep it small. And then there's this rose over here, which I think I said last year just had small roses for like a week. Like it might be from the rootstock. Like the good rose that was attached to it might have died and it's just coming from the rootstock now. So I'm not sure. But I think I'll let it go this year, see what it does, and then and then decide what to do with it after that. Um, as far as the rest of this goes, I had figured on buying plants this year. I don't really know how that's going to go, if plants are going to be available. Um, at uh, County Market, they don't have their outdoor stuff set up yet, but it looks like they might be getting close to it. So maybe that stuff will go on as normal. But uh, if not plants, I do have plenty of Xenia seed and uh, Marigold seed saved from last year. So this could just get filled in with those. And... Uh, I also got to fix, I also got to work on the, the porch this year and put up new trellis because that's starting to look pretty ragged. Um, as far as other things in general go and for the garden, I've got seed ordered, which might be here by this weekend. I'm not sure. Um, that's delayed too. Um, but as soon as that gets here, it'll be time to get a lot of stuff in the ground a lot early and some even some not so early stuff, but definitely the early stuff, the lettuce and cabbages and broccoli and all that kind of stuff. And then even some things like green beans um, could go in and sweet corn could go in by this weekend if it's a little warmer and the seed gets here. But anyway, probably as soon as the seed gets here, a whole lot of stuff's going to get planted. So that is it for now. That's kind of the starting point for this year. So I'll be back with another one of these when I get some more stuff done. And thanks for watching.